Hi everybody, welcome to Scotch Kitchen. It's Saturday today. I hope you had a good uh, week. My week was really, really brilliant, busy as usual. But here we are again. So let's just get on to it. So today I'm going to make, um, I'm gonna do a stir fry and I'm gonna do some chicken. I'll show you what I have here and then we can go straight into it. Um, so, because I have some leftover rice and I have some leftover pasta, so that's why I'm not having, I'm not cooking any, um, any carbohydrates. That's, that's what I'm going to use as my carbohydrates. So, what we have here, on here we have our salt. So we have our salt. Um, I was just having some juice, cranberry juice. So we have our table salt and we're going to use mixed spices. We have uh, paprika, spicy paprika. We have uh, ground white pepper. We have our double cream. And then we have our olive oil. Then we have uh, some mushrooms here. Chopped them already, pre done them, so it's much easier. So that's uh, going to be um, a different, uh, we're going to do some creamy mushroom. And then this is our um, sugar, sugar snaps. And then we have carrots and um, I always forget this. I'll come back to that. I'll come back to that. It is carrots. I've forgotten the name. I'll definitely come back to that. And then I have some olives here. That's going to go on the um, on the stuff, right? Then I have butternut squash, but it's uh, been stripped, so it looks sort of like spaghetti. So you have to use a spiralizer to um, cut it in these um, shapes, so it just looks exactly like uh, spaghetti. So that's butternut. We're going to have this on our on our stir fry. I'm still thinking of that name, not forgotten. I'll definitely let you know. Then we have our chicken here. It's a tandoori chicken. I spice. I um I did this mixture yesterday and covered it and put it in the fridge, ready for um today. So if I move some of the stuff on the side. We need to put that on the oven straight away and then we will do our stir fry. See if you bear with me. Okay, so that's our tandoori chicken. I hope you're able to see. And uh, what I did, I mixed it and I, I added a bit of olive oil um, yesterday, so last night. Mixed it and then I covered it in the fridge for the, so that it's been seasoned for 24 hours. That's why it looks the way it looks um, now. So, I've just got our oven tray. And what I'm going to do, because I need this to go in the oven, so when we are cooking other things, this is already cooking in the oven. So I'm using some olive oil. I'm just going to sp spread some olive oil onto our oven tray. Just gonna mix that a bit. Sorry. So I'm gonna add a little bit more. And then what I'm going to do now, I'm going to start putting the chicken on the tray. So, so it's um, actually like parts, different parts of, um, of the chicken. And then I'm just going to mix that with my oil. Give it a proper mix. Let me just um, make sure every each and every part 
is actually thoroughly mixed trying to get a bit of space so most of the stuff I have are actually drumsticks which is okay so there we go that's perfect let me just wash my hands So, this is what we have now. I'm just going to lift the baking tray up for you to be able to see. So, there we go. That's our chicken. We just um, added some olive oil. You can add any spice you have and you can do this the night before. And then all you have to do on the day you're ready to actually cook it is just a matter of adding a little bit of oil on the baking tray and then laying the chicken turning the chicken over on the baking tray to make sure that all the oil goes in it because you don't want the oil actually helps for the chicken um, not to be really dry so i'm going to go straight ahead and put it in the oven at 200 uh, degrees at 200 degrees i'm just going to open the door as well Okay, I'm going to put that in the oven now at 200 degrees, just right in the middle of the oven. So that's done with. Okay, so let's go ahead and do our mushroom first. We want to do our creamy mushrooms. So I'm going to move you closer for you to be able to see how we do our creamy mushroom. And then we're going to do our stir fry immediately after that. So this is all for the stir fry. I'm going to move you closer. For the mushroom, we don't need much. Okay. Or maybe um, more than that if you wish to of mushrooms and I've actually sliced them so as you can see they're sliced then you need one red or white onion doesn't matter um, you will need your grounded white paper you will also need um, some double cream and uh, you will need your mixed spices so Let's go ahead and start preparing. I've turned the, the, um, the hob on and it's already um, cooking. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to add a little bit of olive oil. And that's the oil we are using, olive oil. So um, just make sure the pan is uh, dry uh, before you add any olive oil. I'm not going to add any olive oil yet because the pan is not dry. Whoops. Sorry. Okay. So. I'm not going to add any olive oil yet. My pan is not that dry. Oh, I have a bit of chili here. It's nothing to do with my um, my mushroom. That's for the stir fry. So we're going to move that on the side because we see don't need that. Okay. So let's go on ahead and put on our olive oil. You need about two tablespoons of uh, olive oil on there. And then you will go ahead and start putting your onions. Okay, I'm going to add another onion because that onion looks really, really small. So I'm going to add a half. I'm going to add another one for this stuff, right? So you can either use one large onion or you can use... Um, one and a half medium or small onions there are my onions in there just bringing in an onion ready for the stir fry so that i don't forget here's 
the cooking stick and let's just have a bit. So far, that's all we have. So we just have onions and some olive oil. Then I'm going to go straight ahead and start putting on our spices. So you need a half a teaspoon, um, a half a teaspoon of white pepper. You need one teaspoon again of your mixed spices. Give that a mix. If you want to add some garlic, you can go ahead and add some garlic. I'm not adding any garlic onto here. So that's what we have so far. Then I'm going to go ahead and add our the main stuff, which is mushrooms. Giving them a mix with the, what we are already have there. So we have our spices and we have our red onion. So I'm just going to mix this together. Um, mushrooms really, really absorb. So they will really absorb the oil that's already there really, really quick. But after a few minutes, they're going to start um, sort of like re removing water. We don't want to get to that stage because we really want our mushrooms really, really crispy. So immediately you put your mushrooms, you're going to go ahead and start mixing them. So that's what I'm doing. I'm giving them a proper mix so that they can mix up with all the spices that we put. There's only one more extra spice we'll add, which is our small pap uh, spicy paprika. At the moment we still don't need it. We'll just add it just um, in time before we add our double cream. You do not need to add any water on here because as I said, mushrooms always remove water and um, it has its own water so you don't need to add any more water. The moment you add any water on this, it's going to be really, really soggy. And uh, that's not what you want it to be creamy but crispy. So you are, we are having creamy, crispy mushrooms. Not um, creamy, soggy mushrooms, no. Okay, so... This is what you have so far. So we have our onions, spices, uh, which is black pepper, mixed spices, and olive oil and mushrooms. That's all you have there. So keep on giving it a proper mix. Then taking your paprika, you need again a teaspoon of that. Down now, which I've done that. That's what we have. Yep. Okay. double cream now so I'm gonna open our double cream so this is about 300 ml that's about 300 ml I'm not going to use the whole of it I'm going to use about 200 just checking it to make sure it mix up properly before I add it on Mix your double cream in there. Okay, so I've said I'm not going to use the whole of it. I've just used about 200 ml. So as you can see, we have about 100 ml left. And that's exactly what you need to use. Give it a mix. Let 
looks really nice and creamy. That's how it looks. So we're going to cook it for the next another about five minutes and then that's it. That's that's the mushroom ready. Our mushroom is done. So when we are waiting for that to get um, cooked, I am going to start cutting the onions um, because we're going to start making our stuff right immediately after that. So you need either one whole onion or you need about one and a half small onions or medium red onions for this as well. Because that's what I've just realized when I started cooking my mushrooms, that one onion was not enough. Because they're actually really, really small, because that's the size of the onion. Um, I love cooking with onion, like loads of onions. Um, um, because onions actually really give food very nice uh, flavor um, and taste as well. So that's why I love using um, lots of onion need to find out um, what's in them because I'm sure everything that we use to either we cook with, we consume, always they say there's always something in it that either adds something to your body or is not good for your body. Those are always the two things that they always say. That it's good for your body or it's not good for your body. It's good, good for your body but if you're consuming to them at a um, high rate, definitely it's not going to be good for your body. For myself, I don't use any, um, I use everything full pot, I don't use semi-skimmed um, stuff and the main reason why I don't use any semi-skimmed uh, stuff or any anything that is, um, has been added, any kind of additives, I don't use. I use everything the way it is because I'm thinking what additive is that they've added onto the, um, the stuff to make it the way it is. So it's the additives that they have there that I have a problem with. Um, but if you, you're okay with having, um, like, let's say, semi-skimmed milk or uh, skimmed milk, that's okay. Uh, but that's not my cup of tea at all. So I always just have everything full fat. So as you can see, I'm using, I always love using double cream rather than single cream. Okay, so another minute. And our mushrooms are going to be ready. So this is what we have so far. There, very creamy mushrooms. So easy, so simple to do it. Takes you less than 15 minutes and you're done. You can have this either with some couscous, some rice, some pasta, some wrap. You can have it with anything. It will just, or even by itself, you can just have it like that. It's still, um, it's still worth it. Okay, so when that is um, still simmering for the next minute or so, I've done my onions. I have one and a half onions. I have my olives, um, which I really need to use them quick before I finish them because I love them. Then I have my sugar snaps. Then I have my carrots and I've chopped them. I still, I'm still thinking of the name of that. Um, the white fruit vegetable. Give me one second. I'll definitely tell you what the name of it is. Okay, I'm having my, my, my mind block there, but that said, we are definitely going to find out what it is before we cook it. My mushrooms are ready and I've got my phone here. We're going to ask Google what it's called. Google is always there because Google is definitely going to help us with that. So, if you bear with me, I will definitely tell you how, what it's called. Vegetable that looks like a carrot.
parsnips. That's the word, parsnips. I need to write it on my forehead so that I can always remember. And um, I don't think you'll be able to see. It actually just looks like a carrot, but it's like a white carrot. Parsnips is the word. That's the word I was looking for. So, chopped some carrots and parsnips. Then that's what we have there. We've diced them. Then we have our... Um, come on, scholar. Today is not my day. Today is the day that I'm going to forget everything. Parsnips. Yeah. I've looked in Google. <laughs> So I'm having a helper to help me find out all these the names of these uh, vegetables I'm using. This is called butternut scotch. I know what it is. It's called butternut scotch. And what has happened, I've used a spiralizer to be able to get um, these um, kind of uh, shapes on it. I'll just show you what um, I mean by a slicer or a ser uh, That's my um, spiral. That's how it looks, and all I do is I open it there, so I put my fruit or vegetable, I stick it there, and it goes inside here, so there is sort of like a cutter, and I just turn it round, and the more I turn it round, it gives me that kind of shape, like a spaghetti shape on my, um, on my vegetable, and that's what I've done with my butternut uh, squash. So we're going to do a stuff, right? Our mushrooms are definitely ready. I've just put those ones on, our, on the side. We're going to go straight ahead and uh, use some olive oil. So I'm going to have some olive oil going there. So you need about... That's two. You need three. You need about three tablespoons. Tablespoons. You need about three tablespoons of olive oil on your pan. Let that be really hot because we want to stir fry all this, but we want to stir fry it in very high heat because we don't want it to be um, overcooked. We really want it to be really, really crispy. It's almost just like giving it a little bit of heat for it to warm up before you eat it. That's all we are doing today. So make sure that is really, really hot. So I'm giving it some, a few more minutes for it to become really, really hot. It's not hot enough. Let's give it a few more minutes. And then we can go ahead and start um, putting in our vegetables. So, so far we're going to go with our onions first. If I can move these bowls aside for you to be able to see. So we're going to go with our onions. Then we're going to go with our chili. And then we're going to go with the sugar snaps, and then we're going to go with the carrots and parsnips, and then butternut squash. That's going to be the last one. We're going to give it a little bit of a mix. Then the spice we're going to use is paprika and um, mixed spices. Those are the spices that we're going to use. Okay, it's really, really hot because I put in some onions, and the onions are already turning brown. I'll put in the sink, Tyler. Okay, so I've gone ahead and put my onions. What are you looking for? An apple. Get an apple then. Tyler, you need to wash it. Tyler. Okay, so we have our onions. That's what we've started with. So we have only onions and olive oil. Okay, so onions and olive oil, very high heat. They just cook for a few minutes. Then go ahead and put on your chili. Because the chili is going to give it a little bit of a kick. So we've only used one green chili, not a, um, the small ones. We've used the thick ones. So um, only one green chili, because I don't want it to be really, really too hot. My heat is very high, yes, just like the way I want it to be. And then I am going straight ahead and I'm going to put in our sugar. Um... Oh, the, the chili. 
I'm going to uh, sugar snaps go straight in immediately after that. Remember, we want them all to go in as quick as possible. Tiger, please close that door when you're leaving. Thank you. Okay, so what we have here so far, sugar snaps, onions, uh, chili, and also we have our red onions. So, keep on mixing it. Then we're going to add... Give it about another two minutes before you add your parsnips and your carrots. Meanwhile, we're just making sure that our chicken is actually cooking well in the oven. There is our chicken. So far, so good.
and I'm going to try and spread it on the pan as much as I can. Then what I'm going to do next, I'm going to cover it for a few minutes. few minutes and let it cook so when that is still cooking I am going if you had read the message about we are going live in a few minutes to actually um, cook some chicken you will have realized and put in there we are going to be having um, even though we're having our chicken we're going to have our surprise so our first surprise was our mushroom creamy mushroom we've done that so that's great okay on this lovely pot here I have 300 ml of milk, so it's a full fat milk, and I have some mussels. I hope you're able to see that. So what I'm going to do, and that's, there we go, so that's our mussel. So that's all you need. So you need your mussels, and then you need about 300 ml of, um, of milk. Um, you can season it if you want to. I'm going to season it just before it gets ready. And you just cover it, put it in a hob for 5 to 10 minutes and that's it. It's ready to eat. So I am going to put it in a very low heat. Put it in the hob for the mussels to start cooking. And that's our surprise for today. Because most of the time, um, you normally have, you see people having mussels in the restaurant. You can also... Um, have it at home if you wish to so you can just buy them in either your local uh, butchery or your local supermarket and um, You don't have to have it that it's already cooked. You can do that yourself uh, But you just have to be very very careful when you're getting it. You have to make sure that it's already um, Prepared in a way that um, they've already made sure what you have is not the poisonous stuff so they will give it to you and all you need to do is just prepare it like mine is was definitely prepared that i'm already making it for 10 minutes and um, the main reason why i do that because most of the time when you buy the mussels they're always covered and then uh, after you've cooked it for a period of time 30 to 40 minutes it actually opens up if you realize mine are already opened up so that means they were already cooked prior uh, prior to them being um, sold where I buy them and I prefer that way because I'm really terrified of the um, of the bit that they can be poisonous because I'm not 100% sure to check which one is good or which one is um, not good for me so I prefer making sure that the ones I buy are already um, half cooked like the ones these ones are and most of them are already opened, so I know I'm 100% safe with that. So that's why I'm going to just cook them for about 10 minutes. But if you buy the ones that are closed, they take about 30 to 40 minutes. And all you need is just water, I'm um, sorry, milk. So 30 ml or if you um, 300 or um, 300 ml of milk. If you don't like full fat milk, again, you can use semi skimmed milk. Okay, back to our, our food. So there you go. I'm going to give it a mix so that you can be able to see everything else. I've just changed uh, my um, my cooking stick because I I wanted to use this one because it's much better. It gives me more 
room to be able to actually move the butternut squash around the pot and to be able to turn it around properly. Okay, so far this is what we have. Looks like as if we've added spaghetti on and actually it's not spaghetti, it's just butternut squash. So vegetarians, anybody who's vegetarian and watching this, so this can be really a nice meal for you. This and then you just go ahead and serve it and ready to eat. That's all. So we're going to leave this here for another minute and then that's it, done, ready to be served. Our muscles are getting ready as well. I'm just going to check on our chicken. Our creamy mushroom is ready. We already prepared our pasta yesterday, so I just warmed that up. I'll just show you that now. Okay, so I prepared some pasta yesterday, and today I've just put it in a smaller um, dish, baking dish, and I put it back on. That's, that's how I reheat my pasta. I put it back on a different... Um, baking tray because I used a bigger one so I'm using a smaller one today and I put my pasta back there give it a little bit of a mix I've not added anything on it and then I just put it back in the oven for about 10 to 15 minutes and that's it that's it you need okay so our stir fry is ready it's gonna turn that off because we don't need it on then I am going to move that there and move our muscles at the end. Turn that off. So we have our pasta and we had a bit of um, leftover again. Some uh, sausages that we had yesterday. Um, courtesy of Tonio. Um, so he made some vegetables and I helped him make some pasta. Um, so some sausages, sorry. And I helped him make some pasta. So well, that's what we had um, yesterday. And because we're having the pasta, we don't really need any more. Um, and we have also have some leftover rice, which I'm going to heat up in a bit. And how I warm up my rice is this way. So I've moved my rice in a bowl. Some people don't really warm up rice. Some people just have the rice the way it is. I do warm up my rice. So what I do, I put it in a bowl the way I've just put it now. And then I'm going to add a little bit of water in it. And then I'm going to put it in the microwave for about um, 5 to 10 minutes. And that's, that's enough. That's it. And it will warm up. You can do that as well if you're still on a pot. So you put a little bit of water on the rice and then cover it for 5 to 10 minutes. It's going to steam up and that's it. You don't need to warm it up. And then after you've warmed it like that, and let's say you've not finished the rice, don't eat that rice again because it's going to cause you um, food poisoning. After you've warmed that, like the way I'm going to warm it up now, if we don't finish it, it has to go in the bin, unfortunately. Because if we rewarm it again, you're going to get food poisoning and we don't want to have any food poisoning. So, I'm still not going to warm it up yet because we're not ready. I'm just going to make sure we warm it up when we are ready. So, we have a bit of rice. We have some pasta. And we have our leftover sausages. We have our stir fry um, vegetables here. And then we have our creamy mushrooms there. And then last but not least, we have our chicken. And like our, sort of like our starter, we have our mussels cooking here. So, that's great. We sort it out for dinner tonight. So I'm going to check on the chicken again. Just going to move all this on the side because I'm going to put the chicken there. It's time for me to actually turn it um turn the chicken. It's really cooking so well. I can show you. There is our chicken. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to, as usual, we always talk about this every time. There's always some water at the, at the bottom of the chicken. I'm going to drain that off because I want my chicken crispy. 
because if you leave it with the water that comes out of the chicken it's going to be really soggy at the bottom so you, at the bottom so you would have the crispiness on the skin or on the chicken itself the way you want that's why i normally drain my water so i'm going to drain that water now and then i'm going to turn my chicken after also to actually be really nice and crispy so I'm gonna do that Let's turn all of them so you can go ahead and if you want to sprinkle if you didn't put any salt in your chicken prior way before you put it in the oven this is the best time for you to sprinkle a little bit of salt and then you forgot about you forget about the salt completely Okay, so come on. Okay, almost done. Just a few more and we are ready to go back to the oven one more come on okay so this is what i normally do after i've given them a ton i'm going to sprinkle a little bit of salt on there I'm going to add a little bit of paprika seasoning on there because I'm not going to turn this chicken anymore. This is the last time I'm going to turn them. So I want the spicy paprika flavor on the chicken. Even though I'd already used the tandoori seasoning on them, I want to have some uh, paprika flavor on them as well. I love my paprika. So, okay, that's done. Ready to go back in the oven. Remember it's a 200 degrees. And just let it cook. So, our mussels are actually ready. I am going to move you a little bit back. So that we can go ahead and serve our mussels. So that you can see that. I'm gonna leave this board here because we're going to need it. Okay, so our mussels are ready. Just going to go ahead and solve them here. that they are hundred percent so you can either when you're trying the muscle when you're eating them that's a bit hot I'm gonna move it back there because the heat the steam is killing my uh, my hand you can open them up you can either go straight ahead and eat it like that or you can just use a spoon so I'm using a spoon and I'm going to try and scoop it from there and that's it that's how it looks like And you eat it? Just what you're left with? Just a shell? You just throw it away. It's really, really nice. So that's how we're going to eat these ones. They're always really, really nice because it's their seafood. 
always nice to have it as a starter before your main meal because they are very very great so that tastes really really nice so our mussels are ready I'm gonna leave them there on the side our stir fries are ready I'm just going to leave them on the pot I'm not going to serve them on any serving um, dish but our mushrooms I'm going to serve our, our creamy mushrooms on one of these serving uh, dishes started laying up the stuff uh, because the chicken is not gonna take that long anyway misusing the food so if it's something that you can really warm up and, and reheat and have again yeah why not we can definitely do that so I'm just trying to wipe the surface before I lay my mats and then we can lay our food our Saturday feast there you go I'm just drying up this surface because I don't want it really um, wet. Okay, we don't need our olive oil and we don't need our salt. I'm just going to move that there. We don't need our paprika. We're going to just start laying out our food on the mat. Chicken nuggets I had. Okay, so 
So far, I'm going to show you what we have here. And all we are waiting for is our chicken. And I'm going to move these uh, spoons and cutleries out of our way mm -hmm. so that we can have a space for where we're going to put our chicken for you to be able to actually see it. And our rice, not forgetting our rice. So we have our chicken and our rice left. What? And here's the orange that we're gonna cut. And then. I have to say hello to everybody first. Mr. Hello, everybody. We're gonna cut the orange and then we're going to test it in the food. That's our Tyler. Move, move in front, Tyler. Move in front because I'm about to open the oven. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and check on our chicken again. What we can again? So that's our chicken so far. Let's leave it in the oven for a few more minutes while our our rice is warming up. Uh -huh. And after that, we will definitely be ready uh -huh. um, for because we've set up what we need today. We, what we um, our surface basically. So we have everything that is cooked. Um, so definitely it's going to be ready to go. We'll be ready to have our our dinner come And what now we swim. Time? I just check the time. Now we swim. Yeah, it's about going to about half, half past four. It's a bit early, but it's uh, lunch come dinner. No breakfast, definitely lunch come dinner. So we're going to have it early. Uh, by five o'clock, we should be able to have it, which is really, really good. And uh, we can enjoy the rest of the Saturday um, with doing other stuff. So I'm just going to check on the rice again to just make sure it is definitely ready to go on our surface. Then I'm going to turn the camera around for you to be able to see what we have today. And um, I'm going to serve it. Yeah, definitely. I'm going to serve it for you to be able to see. And we're going to enjoy it. Because we already have our first guest here, that's just Tonio. He's back from chilling out with his mates. <laughs> okay, two more minutes and we will be done with our rice, which is going to be good. So if you bear with me for a second, I'll just get our plate and I'm going to put our plate ready to be served. And I'm going to go ahead and just serve some of the food. Definitely not the mussels because you can have the mussels as a starter, as I said. Um, you can have it as a main meal if you wish to as well, but we normally have it as a starter. So I'm going to serve the rest of the meals on a plate for you to be able to see. So if you bear with me for a second, I just go ahead and get um, the plate that we're going to use. as well here okay so here is our rice as you can see it's definitely warmed up as you can see it looks like it's just done now which is really really good so I'm going to place it next to the mussel gonna move my 
lovely dishes on the side for rice to actually fix and we have like a variety today which is really really good then last but not least we have our chicken which is going to take pride at the end it's going to take pride at the end of our lovely display perfect as you can see really nice and perfect this is exactly how we want it and so i'm gonna put our lovely chicken at the end here end of our pride enjoy just touched it with my hand and up not supposed to don't want to get burnt okay so here we go let's turn the camera around for you to be able to see our lovely delicious meals So at the father end, we have our chicken. There is our lovely chicken, straight from the oven onto the surface. Then we have our stir fry. On our stir fry, we have butter and uh, butternut squash. We have uh, sugar, sugar snaps. We have olives. We have red um, onions. We have. Uh, parsnips and we have carrots and a bit of chili and olive oil that's that's what we've used to cook our stir fry and you able to see most of the vegetables that i've just um said there you go then we have our lovely creamy mushroom with onion and a little bit of olive oil and we've used mixed spices and black pepper as our spices to make them and then we have a uh, one of our leftover for yesterday which was um sausages so it had tomatoes onion and a little bit of uh, royco and a bit of paprika then we have our pasta and all that is there is you spoil the pasta and a little bit of cheddar cheese mixed together and in the oven for 20 minutes and that's it and then we have our rice it was just a normal rice uh, basmati rice sorry with a bit of water and um, just a little bit of uh, butter instead of lard or uh, fat and then last but not least on our pride today our lovely surprise today was mussels and it uh, it's mussels on that's some milk so either you can have a semi-skimmed milk, but we've used um, normal milk on it. So again, I'm going to go around and show you what we have today. We have our rice. We have our pasta. We have our creamy mushroom and we have our sausages in some stew. Then we have our stir fry. And last but not least, we have our chicken tandoori. Um chicken uh just tandoori style chicken and then that's just our serving plate so let's go ahead and put this in a plate for me to be able to show you uh what we're going to have um, in on a plate today okay we are back on again which is good getting to know this better now Facebook is also getting to know us better, so we have very little disappointment today. Okay, we hope we're going to have the same all throughout. We're not going to have issues. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and plate our food. I'm going to start with our stir fry, because that's like our main, main, main dish today. That's our pride and joy for today. Then I'm going to have some rice. Just on the side. Then I'm going to have some 
because I really want a little bit of pasta. I don't want so much pasta because I already have my rice on there. Then I'm going to have our creamy mushroom right in the middle of the plate, right in the middle of the pride. Just make sure that cream is definitely there. Then I am going to have a little bit of that sausage as well. Because remember, I want everything that we have here today on my plate so that you get able to see. Some people just love some particular things. Some people love to serve everything. So I'm just imagining I am that person who wants to serve everything. And that's what I'm trying to show you. Uh, everything that is already on here, we're going to do it apart from mussels. That's the only thing I'm not going to add on my plate. So let's have some chicken. Okay, so I'm going to bring my plate closer and that's what we have, looks really really full but we have a portion of everything which is really good and then I'm going to bring the camera closer for you to actually see our lovely serving. You know what I'm going to do, I'm going to move our mushroom and our sausage at the end here and then I'm going to put the plate right in there so that it can be easier for you to be able to see um, what I am talking about sorry about the size of our lovely surface but we are we getting on we are doing so well on it so I can't complain okay so I'm gonna turn you around again And there we go. So we have our lovely plate served up uh, with our dish for today. And you can see everything that we've actually prepared today. And also we can see our leftover served nicely on a plate. And then we have our cutlery, which I'm going to just move a little bit um, so that you can be able to see. So we have our cutlery on the side as well, which is good. There you go. Move a bit closer for you to be able to see everything. And I'm going to slant the camera as well for you to be able to see everything on the plate. There you go. So. So what I can say is uh, thank you again for definitely watching our video. I am grateful for, um, for your time that you normally take to come down and uh, watch Scotch Kitchen. We're doing so well so far. I hope you've managed um, going to our YouTube channel and subscribing because that's all you need to do. You need to subscribe on our YouTube channel so that you can have access to the, um, to the videos. Um, because I'm not sure, I, I talked about this sometimes back, I'm not sure how long Facebook is going to keep our videos here. So in case you can't see a video here, don't worry about it. It's still there. You All you need to do is subscribe to my channel. It's all still Scotch Kitchen. I'm going to upload this video that we're doing now on there as well so that you'll be able to, um, to see what we've done today. And also there are other videos that I keep on. I'm still trying to move as much as possible uh, from Scotch Kitchen Facebook to Scotch Kitchen channel um, on YouTube. Um, that said, um, thank you very much again for watching. Keep on watching Scotch Kitchen. It's because of you I'm right here I'm doing this and I'm really grateful for um, each and every one of you guys. And what I can say, definitely have a good Saturday. Join me tomorrow because tomorrow we're going to do some lamb chops boneless lamb chops and we're going to have that with some roasted potato and a bit of vegetables or salad it's just going to depend how we feel um tomorrow but that's going to be our dinner tomorrow so i hope you'll be able to um to actually tune in and watch and also enjoy the cooking thank you very much for your time today do have a lovely saturday bye bye